when I move my opponent, I like to think of it um, like a, like an ancient warrior. So my favorite ancient warrior is a Viking. So if you think of Vikings in their armament and their weapons, they have a big battle axe and they have little daggers too. Everything in between, but those are the two things I like to think about. So the battle axe is essentially my hips and my legs and my little dagger are my hands. So what I mean there is I'm doing the work with my hips and my hands are just detail work. So I'm in here, I'm, I'm having my lead hand down, back hand reaching the shoulder, getting my collar tie. I'm doing the work with my hips. I'm doing the work with my battle axe here. My hands are not pushing. My hands are just there to control his head and details. So the movement this way, my hips are to control, to push him back. So I'm not gonna be trying to push my opponent like this with my arms, because I'm not gonna get him to go anywhere. He's strong, he's, he's braced up with this, with this stance here. I'm not gonna be able to push him. But if I get my hips engaged here, I just um, use, excuse me, keep my elbow down, just kind of rocking him back here, pushing him, pushing him, pushing him. Right there, using my hips, not my arms. When I'm using my hips, it's gonna allow my arms to free up to snap. So what I like to think about here is I like to bring this back foot around, but I'm not gonna do that from here. I'm not gonna do that without pressure. Here is not gonna, I'm not gonna get the right, right, right reaction out of him if I'm just pulling him. Just pull him, just pull him, not get the right, right reaction out of him. I wanna push and then pull. I'm gonna push until I get a reaction out of him. Push him, make him draw a line in the sand. Push him. So I'm pushing him back, pushing him back. He stops me right there. He's drawing that line in the sand. The weight is on the back foot. I'm gonna pull his back foot around. Right there. Then back to it. Push, push. You draw that line in the sand, bring that foot around. This is gonna really wear on your opponent because he's backing up, backing up. Maybe he's trying to evade the, the, the wrestling a little bit, but there's a certain point in the mat or in the match where maybe the ref's talking to him or he gets to the edge where he's gonna have to resist. He's gonna have to push back and that's when you pull him. Here. Lead hand down, posting on the shoulder. Here, rocking him back, pushing him back. He's bracing up. Maybe the ref's talking to him. Engage. Maybe he's on the edge of the mat. That's where I'm up pulling. Here, right back to it. Do that two, three, four times. This guy's really gonna start feeling his lower back, his neck. Your shots are gonna start opening up. If your shots aren't opening up, then your snaps are. Early in a match. I'm not really going to be able to snap this guy all the way down to his hands. Put, put, hands. Boom. That's going to be really hard to do because this guy's still strong here early in the match. Later in the match, maybe my shots really aren't opening up, but I'm pushing back. He's pushing back. Going to get that snap down. So one more time here. Lead hand down. Back hand, go on the shoulder. Come on the collar, elbow down. Push my opponent, push my opponent. He braces up, pulling that back foot around. Push, push, pull. One thing I want to emphasize here too is I'm always pulling the back foot. So if his right leg is back, I'm gonna put this leg back. I'm gonna pull this foot around. So I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. I might engage this wrist here, pulling this way. Now maybe that foot's back. Boom. Start to wear out your opponent there. 